So this example is how to create a camera on a path. Now I've already got my part set up. It's this uh, nice trophy of the, the Champions League. And I've drawn a helix around it and connected the two ends of the helix with a simple spline. So it's just a closed contour sketch. Now, what we intend to do then is to position a camera so that it will move around this path that we've created for it. So if we go into our scenes, lights and cameras, choose camera and say add camera. We can see this is our preview of our part and this is the preview of the camera itself. Now the target by selection is a point on a particular face that we want it to constantly be looking at. Say for instance that. We then want to do a position by selection, which in this case will be the path that we've created. Now, I've also done a fixed spline on this path, so it's one single entity, which just makes it a little bit easier to select. You'll notice here we've got a percentage bar. So this is the percentage starting off uh, at the start and at 100, ending up right down at the bottom again. And then we've got a our field of view. So we can apply perspective here and we can uh, position our camera uh, at particular length or a particular view angle just to get the right effect. Now if I just position that slightly view angle and just increase the length ever slightly as well, you can see then we can get a preview as we rotate through. And as I mentioned, it's constantly looking at that point as we rotate. So it gives us a nice image of the trophy the whole way around. The other thing about this, because we've set it up with a camera, it can be used in animation as well to drive that at different percentages as well.